Hey guys, it's Karen Basket DIYer here. If you follow my channel, you may have already seen my sea turtle tumbler tutorial. I don't have one made because they sell just like that for me. So hopefully you've watched that and you've tried one because they are so much fun. Uh, those are made with epoxy. And a couple of videos that I posted recently, I've been telling you that I'm in the process of switching to the Crystalac Bright Tone products. So today I'm gonna be making a sea turtle tumbler with the Crystalac products and I'm gonna be using their glitter glue. This is my first time using it. I just took the lid off, put the new little adapter on. And so I'm gonna be trying this technique with the glitter glue and applying it to a little wine tumbler that I already have sanded and prepped um, with Lagoon, Rust-Oleum, two times Lagoon paint. So um, I'm using, I just stopped off at the dollar store on my way home a while ago and bought this little makeup brush and it's just a little $1 makeup brush, Wet n Wild brand from Dollar General. So here goes nothing. Wish me luck, my first time using glitter glue and I will be using the Northern Lights from Maker Flow because I'm out of my chameleon from Glitter and Grand, but these are so, so similar. So still gonna be super awesome on top of this um, lagoon. And then my mix of Mermaid from Glitter and Grand. It's, this is just my beach water. I think I call it beach water. Nope, I call it, yep, I call it beach water. It's just all my blues and turquoises mixed together um, after I finish. So anyways, just watch me apply. Okay, you guys, so all the videos that I have watched from those awesome Crystal Light Bright Tone Glitter Glue users say to just apply it directly to the tumbler. And these brushes are to help give you a super smooth finish. When using these Crystal Light products, you want to make sure that you are letting your spray paints gas off for 24 to 48 hours. This one has actually been gassing off for days because I painted this probably over the weekend and today is Wednesday. So yeah, this one's definitely ready. But you have to let your you know, layers and everything dry properly. Okay, again, Maker Flow Northern Lights. And this is a chunky glitter. So I am gonna pour my little beachy water, whatever I called it, mix over this, just to fill in those little gaps before that glitter glue gets too dry. Okay, and I'm also gonna just kinda wipe off the edge a little just to get all the chunky. Okay, so it's been about two and a half hours since I applied the glitter with the glitter glue. And now then I'm gonna go back and seal all this glitter with glitter glue. That way, whenever I start applying my layers of Crystal Lac, um, it'll be a more smooth surface to start my application on. Okay, so this will need to dry for another two hours. Okay, so my glitter glue is nice and dry that I sealed all my glitter with. Um, it's got a little bit of texture, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get started with my layers of bright tone. All right, let that dry for four hours. Um, after one hour of dry time, I can take this off my turner and move it, you know, to just an upright drying rack so that I can put another cup on my turner and be working on it. All 
Next, I cut out my turtles with my Cricut and applied them to that smooth surface. I then grabbed my Rust-Oleum two times white and gave the cup a nice coat. Because I'm gonna be applying alcohol and inks directly over my vinyl, spray painted vinyl turtles, and this is a Crystal Lac Bright Tone Cup, it is okay for me to go ahead and apply these inks before this is 48 hours dry. But once all the inks are on here, um, I need to let this dry for 48 hours. But like I said, this paint right here has only been dry for about two hours. So 91% alcohol, um, my favorite inks, which are the Let's Resin inks off of Amazon. I will link those for you. I pulled out all the blues, greens, turquoise. There's five of those in the box that I love for this tumbler and a couple of art brushes. I pretty much end up just using one. So basically all you do is you just start dripping your inks on. So one thing I really love about this tumbler is how unique and different each and every one turn out. As you can see here, I'm just applying my ink by dripping it on and then using the brush to just go around and around um, the tumbler. You can just add as much or little as you would like, blend the colors, and um, I use my alcohol and just spritz back on the cup and then it also helps to blend the colors a little bit more, but you can just kind of work it and make it your own. Just use your own creative design here. And just keep in mind though, that the majority of this cup does get covered up with power wash later. I mean, yes, you will see these beautiful colors, but um, don't spend tons and tons of time here. Next, I seal it with clear coat and then I move right into my power wash after that clear coat is dry, that is. Um, I go pretty heavy over my vinyl turtles with the Dawn dish soap and then hit it with the white spray paint and then pour my water right over it. Okay, you guys, so I just finished, um, well, a little while ago. I put a clear coat on here and then I let that dry for probably an hour and then I went ahead and did my power wash with the Rust-Oleum two times white and the Dawn dish soap. So I was able to do those two back to back on top of each other because they are both spray paints. <laughs> I honestly don't know the exact explanation for this. I am going to give a shout out to the Hoppy Doxy. Um, she does a great job explaining like Crystal Lac products and then like spray paints and the dry times and all that jazz. I do know that I would not be able to put Crystal Lac or Bright Tone right over the top of this until it has cured for 48 hours but you can put those two or three, the alcohol inks, the clear coat, and the spray paint all on top of each other back to back to back, you know, let them each dry, but they have to gas off for a total of 48 hours, but they can gas off through each other. So I'm just gonna let her explain that. I just know that I watched her video and went, okay, that makes sense, but I have a hard time explaining it to people. So. Now then, I'm gonna just be weeding out my vinyl and you get to watch me do that. I prefer my little Cricut weeding tool for this. Um, I know a lot of people use a little weeding pen, um, which is basically like a mechanical pencil and you put a pen um, or a needle in it. And I have one, but I don't really like that. It doesn't work well for me. So I'm just gonna be doing it the way that I feel the most comfortable. And you always have to be careful not to scratch your inks and be really careful not to lift up any of your um, clear coat or crystal lac from below. And if you do, it's okay. You can kind of press it back down, but just, you know, go at it really carefully.
Okay, so I got it all weeded and that glitter is so amazing. I love it. it, looks so great. And the colors are so vibrant. I'm really excited about this one. And the cup is just already so much more lightweight than an epoxy cup. So I'm really loving that too. Okay, I need to let this cure for 48 hours. And guys, I have um, five more cups crystal lack cups in the work. So I have plenty to do. So for 48 hours, this is going to sit, dry, cure, and then I will get going with my layers of bright tone and show you the amazing results. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I am so super excited about this tumbler in particular because this is absolutely one of my best sellers um, overall. This is the first one I've made using bright tones so i'm really excited to just continue the process these paints and sealers clear coats have all been drying uh, they are 100 percent dry for 48 hours now and that is super super important with the crystallite products to let those type of things gas off for 48 hours so now then i can move into my bright tone again super paper thin layers and it's gonna take quite a few, but totally worth it because like I've been telling you in a lot of my other Bright Tone tutorials, no PPE required. And I am super loving that. And this just goes on super smooth and pretty flawless. Don't want to let it puddle up. Sorry, I just dripped a bunch there. You don't wanna let it puddle up or pull up and it really is self-leveling so you don't have to worry about that too much. But you just wanna make sure you get good coverage and let it dry for four hours before you apply your next layer. And then after three or four, depending on how smooth we are, um, I will give it a nice sand overall with 400 grit sandpaper and then continue my layers until I achieve just that glassy finish and I'm happy with the results. And then I'll be showing you the finished product. So here it is all finished up. And guys, to be really honest with you, one of my biggest fears about switching to Crystal Lac was the fact that I might not be able to do this exact tumbler. Well, here it is. Um, Proof is in the pudding. I did it. It looks so incredibly amazing. The shine is just unbelievable. The uh, layers are super thin, therefore creating a much lighter white cup. And I was able to just make it, I almost want to say even better than my very first one I ever did with epoxy. So you can do more intricate cups. Proof right here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you will be encouraged to try stuff like this. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will do my very best to answer them. And as always, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for future Tumblr tutorial notifications. And I truly, truly appreciate you watching. Please feel free to share this video if you think it will help someone else.